Welcome, 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 all you entertainment holics out there in entertainment land. It is time for again, yet again, for another thrilling, exciting installment of you guessed it, Wicked Entertaining, coming at you live each and every well Monday through Friday from five to six p.m. Pacific time. That's 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time, only on, well, we're on Rock Rage Radio. That's where we are. We got Rock Rage Radio. We're on iHeartRadio. We're on Sony Music Entertainment. Uh, we're on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and everywhere in between. You can catch us on Twitch. You can catch us on our YouTube channel. Go to Get Real Global TV. Uh, all kinds of different things. But tonight... You can listen and watch as we bring on an amazing artist, a uh, really great band who I have had the blessings of, uh, has performed our concerts in the past, and we're going to bring him on right now, a little bit of Alexander Adzik, and this is uh, Vitamin XP. Hey, how's it going? Hi, everyone. Good, good. Everything is cool. Awesome. Yeah, so I was telling everybody, uh, you've played our concerts before, and, you know, really great. We're going to be playing uh, your music videos and some of your music tonight, so um, tell them, the, you know, the audience that uh, they're going to, ha- they're in for an enjoy- very enjoyable time. Yeah. So uh, why don't fun. you tell, yeah, hell yeah, why don't you tell our audience a little bit more about you and what you do? Oh, that's a hard question. Um uh... I'm just trying to stay alive and uh, trying to uh, do what it takes to stay sane and uh, uh, I would say uh, uh, in a full spirit, trying to do things that helps helps me to stay normal and helps me move forward, you know. So, Can you tell them a little bit like what type of music you perform? So the music that we play is... Um, I don't know what kind of genre is, but it's kind of similar to, I would say, some kind of grunge, punk rock, like mix with some, I don't know, it's Ramon's kind of style. It's very simple, but um, I think it has a little different vibe than 70s or 80s or 90s. It's, uh, it has a little something new for from this 21st century, I would say. And... Uh, um, I don't. Uh, I mean, the music that we come up with was very spontaneous. So uh, basically, we we didn't plan the genre or something. It's just uh, what we can do and what we felt like uh, expressing. Uh, the song, the songs just uh, melt and they kind of uh, come together uh, slowly. We really didn't, uh, you know, like. Uh, Put a lot of grammar to it. Uh, it just uh, it just happened, and uh, it developed. Like the first album was like a beginning and learning, and then second one was even more. Then the third one is, I think, more deeper, and and uh, and I think we went a little more into the the core of the songs and and um, the energy and the spirit. I think. Uh, I think the third album really captures something very unique. I, I was really surprised with with the production and how the songs turn out. I think um, I was really surprised with the sound and and the whole thing. Um, and uh, um, and I think it's collective. I mean, I know it's collective work with people, the band members and and the producer and the, and. The, moment in time and um i think and everything is involved and uh, i think it's mostly that voice like that um, that that needed to be expressed and uh, especially in this last two years and i felt that music helped me a lot and i think I, it was a real good therapy to me and i hope to some other people but for me it was really um very very, very helpful and um uh, I really needed to do this, and that was that was it. Um, yeah, your music is very unique, and I think that uh, the audience will be very receptive to it. You know, and um, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's. Uh, uh, I felt like um, 
Uh, it connects. Uh, it's very simple and, um, and really resonates. It's uh, I think with any, anyone. I think and uh, it's very simple and very uh, very like no solos. Like no no not too much. Thing. It's 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 uh, it's not really. Um, I think it's really like. Um, yeah, unique. I don't know. I feel like it's unique style, and I we like it, you know. So it's cool, and we're happy to be able to record even in this crazy time, and to get album out, and uh, even play live. You know, it's just like a crazy thing to even think that you can do that. In especially in LA, it's really fast life, and uh, you can't even put the band together. It's really hard to even put f f three people together. And it's a lot of money and to, to do, to practice, to go out. And people can't really go to the shows because it takes three hours just to go to the show, you know. Um, but um, I think it's all worth it at the end, like sacrifice to, to do things like this, like creative and trying to, 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 to see what you can say. Any person, I think it's very interesting. And I think I, I believe that everyone should... Um, express himself or herself in any way it's possible and uh, it will everybody I, I was surprised with what can come out you know and then and how everything comes together when you start working like you do one thing and then some somebody comes in and says well, okay we can do this with this we can do this and then things start developing and it's really a mystery to me, but uh, I really like the the way. You know, I don't know where where we'll go and how long, but it's it's going for s s somewhere. So it's interesting, you know. And who who writes the majority of the of the lyrics? I mean, I wrote all the lyrics except in the second album. I I, I wrote with Blanca, she, bass player. She played bass in the second album. She. She wanted to add some lyrics on the second verse, so, so we went to a park and so she says, let's add a couple lyrics here, it's like, it's way too low. It's, because it was, the second album was very minimalistic, it was like literally 16 words in each song. And I wanted like that, just to not be too much. And uh, But most of the songs I wrote, all the lyrics, and most of the lyrics were, were, were written basically on the spot in the rehearsal room uh the main essence of the like verses and maybe the main lines will come just come out i would sing the the melodies that will come or something and, and then the words will come and then i will record the rehearsals and then i will listen and i will hear these words and then they will come together and and then i would need to maybe at the end to write and kind of finalize the words like especially for the third album i will add more lyrics uh intellectually thinking okay what what does this song really mean what i can really say more about this subject that really bothers me or really i or i love this thing why i love this thing so i would i would uh, add more um substance to it so people when they if they care about lyrics they can kind of go deeper into the song but um First two albums, I, I wanted just to be very simple, very, very like, like poetic, like four, four verses and that's it. Very, not too much like uh, brainstorming, not, you know, like very more simple. More simple like punk rock. I mean, most punk rock is very simple. Most of the songs are, you know, angsty or they're about certain types of subject matter. And typically the songs are what, like two minutes or less. Like it's very simple, more simple and to the point, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I went to that basically basics of two, three minute long songs. And, uh, but I didn't really, really form to be exactly three minutes. It, that was, that was it. It just didn't, need to be longer or shorter so it, it is what it is um that was what i felt what we felt that should be and the songs were like that yeah what do you find that a lot of your songs are about any particular subject matter or is it just like how you're feeling at the time when you're writing it or do you find that there's a common theme with your songs or um, 
I don't, I, I don't think about themes, right? Uh, but most of them are, um, they come out, uh, mo most of the, the themes are about, uh, I mean, the songs are about, uh, um, finding uh, uh, that uh, f uh, freedom inside, finding, finding that, uh, um, that space and that uh, spirit, finding the spirit. Basically, the whole uh, search of these albums was looking for that spirit that is present, looking for that live spirit. So songs and practice and everything was helping me to be present. So all of these works and uh, words and lyrics were about things that can st stop me from being present for from being uh, free from being uh, joyful or having joy having mind having like peace so most of the words are like uh, taking those things off that is uh, distracting taking them off cutting them off talking about things that 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 are distracting that main thing that is uh, uh mind that is peace and uh human interaction and hu being human so uh, to be human like in this multi social media and so many uh, information uh was uh, was a fight so i felt it was a very big fight just to get to the spirit first and the words uh, just the words no matter what they mean just saying them they help me to get to the heart so the words uh, 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 have a power just saying them and saying them with the honest truth heart you get to your heart because most of the time we are in the mind I was in the mind thinking things so the music helped me to to be two hours if a rehearsal to be in my heart and then when I, if I get in the heart, then the heart speaks out and then the words come out. That's, that's the process how I made these songs. I like that. Being more mindful, being more present in the moment, mm -hmm. more, you know, I, I get that. That's nice. Well, also it has a very, very strong power. Once you, once I get into that, like when, you know, when you feel a song or a riff or something, somebody says, once you get into that, it kind of stops the thoughts and start, you actually uh, become present uh, and then uh, magic happens. And then the drummer has, a, oh, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should. And then something is like the space opens up. This sounds like, right. very, like crazy, but really the, 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 the air was like uh, change and, and the, right. the vibe and, and we can all feel it in the room. It's really different. And we can sense, okay, wow, this is this is cool. That's yeah. nice that you were able to to you know to do that. You know, not every musician or not every actor or you know has that presence of mind to be like you know just be in the moment, just go with the flow, so to speak. Go with you know the, the space in the room, or go with your feeling, your gut. You know, like you know. Yeah, sometimes it can be very hard, of course. I mean, you never know. It's always a game because sometimes you just can't do it. And uh, sometimes I just need to force myself just to do it. And then and, and, uh, uh, it's not always an easy thing. Uh, but um, practicing, it, it kind of becomes like easier to get mm. into the, the space, you know. Mm. But yeah, I talk about many things in the songs. Many, I mean, including top many topics of course there is people can follow the songs and stuff but right. uh, yeah you know, there is a yeah many i i have i i mean there is we, we can hear the songs maybe i can talk about oh the yeah songs. oh no yeah. we're definitely gonna do that and then what we'll do is i'll play a song and then or you, and you can like basically do an intro to it i'll say the name of the song and then you okay. can like say you know what it what it's about, what you were thinking sure. when you wrote it, that kind of thing, you know. Sure. And um, what? Let's see. I got some. Let's actually let's hear a song. For, uh, first, before I'm gonna queue up a song here, I'm gonna queue up some videos. Um, what would you? 
First of all, I want everybody to know where you're from. You're from Serbia, I'm, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'm from Serbia, Eastern Europe, yeah. Yes. And I always loved that, you know, that you had that different culture behind you, you know, and a different take on things. Yeah. And, you know, because we all need to see where we're all coming from. We all need to like, hey, okay, so this person comes from here, 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 or this type of background or how they were raised or how, you know, like we all have a story. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, diff I mean, every, everyone has their own, I guess, um, uh, culture and vibe and energy and um, right. things that they picked up on the way, yeah. What would you say your musical influences were when you started this project? Like, what kind of music did you grow up on and what influenced you? Well, for this project, I can't tell that. But when I grow up, I, I love to listen to Ramones. I discovered them when I was 11. And I nice. really love the Ramones, like especially live albums, It's Alive. And I love the Ramones. Something was there very pure i did, i couldn't get it but mm -hmm. now i kind of more understand after many years right but uh i love many bands like uh velvet underground i love mm -hmm. uh, new york dolls were nice. very very special to me and and cramps i love cramps and uh sisters of mercy i love i love a lot and um uh, uh, Bauhaus, Joy Division, I mean, those oh, bands. Right. But, but I, lo I love also uh, the Serbian bands. They're very un un unfamiliar in the West, and uh, they're very uh, underground, very cool bands, uh, like Disciplina Kitschme, uh, uh, Obojni Program, uh, uh, Party Breakers. They're, they're very good uh, rock and roll bands uh, in, in Eastern Europe. And they really, I mean, basically Eastern Europe is like a rock and roll country. Mm. They really listen to rock and roll, and it's really like a big deal. Uh, wow. So it was very nice, and I'm happy that I grew up there and having life like that. Yeah, that's awesome, yeah, and I'm glad that you're here with us now, and that we got to meet you in Los Angeles, and that you've played some of our shows. You know, it was yeah. a really nice experience. Yeah, it was fun. I remember. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm going to play a couple of music videos from, uh, we're going to go to YouTube. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I'm going to pull up the YouTube. I'm going to share this so everybody can see it. We're going to play uh, Vitamin XP, and we're going to play Dance With Us. So we're going to get the party started. Get ready for it. Vitamin XP on Wicked Entertaining.
All right. Uh, tell people a little bit more about that song. I mean, obviously, it's uh, to me, it just sounds like Dance With Us. <laughs> it sounds like an awesome song where I just want to, like, dance with you. But anyway, uh, what were you feeling when you wrote that? <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. One second. And there we go. That song is more like spiritual in the way like, uh, uh, well, uh, dance, dancing with myself in a way like I need to fight with myself to, 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 to get these spirits uh, right. And basically I'm challenging people to, to get into my dance, what is very uh, challenging. It's not a light dance. It's a very, you need to really fight to get to that, uh, to that right spirit. And uh, I'm challenging basically the audience dance with us. But um, I'm mentioning that you need to dance. I'm dancing myself. You need to dance with yourself. Basically, the time that we had, like the two, last two years, you're basically by yourself and you need to kind of dance with yourself. But in a way, like dance, like to balance, to see, to not go crazy with bad stuff that you have or good stuff. So to balance and to, to really find out what really uh matter uh and uh in the way like uh, to like like black thoughts will go away so to not be so much drowned with the uh, darkness and the bad stuff to so to try to 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 dance with the uh, right stuff not just to kind of uh you know like people like to dance that's fine but uh, this is a little different dance that I was talking about. So it's more about try to dance with us in a way like uh, this is a scary place. Right. In a way like uh, it's scary to, to challenge yourself to, to, to cut all these things that are not important or they're, they're just putting you down. Um, so in a way like, and I also feel like that dance, if we dance together, then we can win that together even if it's through the thoughts or, you know, like listening to the music. So I, uh, but I did, uh, did the song remind me of Billy Idol a little bit, <laughs> dancing with myself, you know? Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's a different, I, I think it's more deeper, different uh, meaning of the song. And um, I think it's about the soul. It's more about uh, that. It's more um, um, like um, fighting song. Hmm. So, I like that. Yeah. The imagery was nice. I like that how how it was all put together. Mm -hmm. And uh, who put the video together? Um, very good uh, DP Joachim uh, Pajul. He's from uh, Catalonia, Spain. He 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 wanted to shoot music video for us, and he found one tunnel, and he says, "Let's shoot the music video." So we we get together and we did it. Did a good job. Put it together yeah. very nicely. You know, like, yeah, like you I were wanted... saying, simple. You know, you kept you know, it. It had a nice, simple vibe and a simple theme to go with what you were talking about. Yeah, it has some little prodigy elements. I like that uh, song "Firestarter" from Prodigy. So I kind of took All that right. little part when they're going through a tunnel, running. So we kind of copied that part. I really yeah. like that Firestarter song. Yeah. So, uh, so maybe, so that was like the theme, like a fire starter, like a, to start the fire, to start right. something that is, uh, that, that that's the, yeah. That was nice. I like that. Yeah. He did a great job. You guys uh, did yeah. a very good job between the song and the video to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it came out good. Yeah. All right. Let me go see. I had another one. Let's see. One second, I got another video. Okay, here we go. I don't care about rock and roll. Hold that thought. I'm going to cue that up. Uh, here we go. We're going to cue this up. All right, uh, can you tell us a little bit about I don't care about rock and roll before I bring it up to play? Um, that song specifically was... Um was like a little kind of, uh, I was kind of a little sick of uh, being a, a rock and roll uh, person, like people play rock and roll just to play rock and roll. Oh, and yeah. uh, I wanted to make a statement that I don't care about that kind of rock and roll. 
I care about uh, if people have something to say and they, they have a need to say. I, I, uh, uh, in a way, like, um, I, I wanted to, to uh, I didn't like that kind of thing uh, just to be a rock and roll, you know, like, oh, okay, I play rock and roll. I know how to play and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So, and labels and like all that business and stuff. So basically, Rolling Stones I mentioned there and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, so I want I, I I basically put that together in a way like uh, I have to do this because this is very important for me to do because I uh, this is the way I'm saving I, I'm kind of staying staying normal. This is not a joke. Uh, it's not the rock and roll. It's not a joke. It's not like buying the guitar and good outfit and stuff. So rock and roll is a really important thing, and I think uh, many big bands really know that same thing. That like Ramones or Your Dolls, that was not a joke. They did. They, they gave their their lives for it, and they lived it daily for many years, and they didn't. Uh, they were serious about it and they knew how important that is and it's not a joke and uh, it's a it's a it powerful tool that can help people and it's a we're one of the maybe last therapies that is really on the stage it's that it is really available to everyone that that people can use to help themselves so it's not like um, or something, it's, it's not also some big thing that you have to be a soloist or great musician to do it. So, I mean, my songs are basically three chords. Everybody can play them. So basically, every anyone can use that, that tool to, to, to help themselves in, in that way. So that's, that's why I, I, I think I wrote, I wrote that song. It's really like a serious song about uh, seriousness of music. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go play that song now. It's called, it's by uh, Vitamin XP. This is I Don't Care About Rock and Roll. Enjoy Wicked Painting.
That was awesome. What, what was that you said? I don't care about your Scooby Doo. Yeah, you watch your <laughs> Scooby Doo. Yeah, I do Scooby Doo. <laughs> That was awesome. I'm sorry. The lyrics yeah. on this, I really like that. The lyrics on that song, I really yeah. do. Uh, it spoke to me. I don't know. Just, yeah. and I liked how the video was put together, and you know, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, I love the watermelon at the end. The cow explodes. Yes, you know? that was that fun. was the yeah. best. When you hear yeah. the. You know, like the noise, <laughs> yeah. like the blowing up, yeah. and you see the fire. fire. Yeah, that means that was that, awesome. Yeah, that means that I probably explode because I just ate that watermelon, so I explode <laughs> too. So, so you can connect that. Yeah, so it was kind of fun. Yeah, that was yeah, fun that... shoot. Yeah. <laughs> who who filmed that one or came up with the premise for that music video? Because that was really well put together. Well, I directed and uh, Jacob that nice. one. Me, uh, well, my friend Jacob, he's very good, very good DP. But uh, I, nice. I come up with the idea and uh, uh, we, we, we kind of brainstorm little some scenes together. But we, we put it together. Yeah, me and Jacob Mendel, very good cinematographer. Nice. Yeah, did a great job. Yeah, you know what I mean. It, it, a lot of people don't realize you can make something with a huge impact that is maybe simple you know what i mean like mm -hmm. directing wise or putting something together you know it wasn't like overly complicated it got to the point you know it went along with the song it was really you know well done but it was it was simple at the same time it wasn't like over big giant production with a giant budget and all this extra stuff you know like some some bands, like you said, it was, you know, some people were like, oh, they just play rock and roll to play rock and roll. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it, yeah. it was, oh, we got to have some giant budget and some huge thing, and we have to add some famous actress to it, and we have to do all this extra stuff. And at the end of the day, they really didn't necessarily, you know? Yeah, yeah. Overthinking it. Mm -hmm. know? Yeah, sometimes it's just... Uh... You got to do it when it's opportunity because you might never do it. And if you plan yeah. too much, it's just a waste. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That yeah. Was, uh, that was nutty. Well, I like that. That was a good, I know, man, that was awesome when it went boom and it had the fire. and the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Ah, that was that was That was a $10,000 effect, just to let you know. Yeah. Really? That's a, that's a joke, yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be cool, you know. Like, well, the music awesome. video was like two hundred dollars, but that effect was twenty thousand dollars. But you know, it's a low budget. You know. <laughs> but it was worth awesome. it. It was worth it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, let's see. Uh, ooh, I like the uh, follow me. That looks really good. I like that music well, video. That was from the previous. Actually, that was from the first album. Yes. Okay, what uh, what do you want to play? Um, I have like "Stay Away." Um, do you want to play just like an MP3, or do we want to do watch another video? I have "Well, Well." This is looks good. Or maybe, "Alone Again." What would you? Maybe think? maybe you can play just MP3s, like new new album, so people can hear yeah, it. Yeah, and... yeah, I can do that. I think. No. Uh, Let's see. Um, is this the what the? Okay, the Spotify link you sent me, is this the current album or is this from another, is this your second album? Yeah, that's the last one, Watermelon. Okay, that's the, okay, so this is the newest one, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I have um, some songs from here. Let's uh, get away from YouTube. I want to get rid of that. Hold on. We're going to share the screen but we're gonna do the Spotify instead okay here we go now right, we're gonna go Spotify okay here we go all right and now uh, what song do you want to start off with off of this new album you can play uh because uh, we already did like, I don't care about rock and roll yeah so, you you can Which one you would can, you want to play? You can play Master, I think, or All About Me, or okay. Last So Long. I think those... Let's do, let's do All About Me first. Okay. What is... I mean, I don't want to just assume what the song is about. <laughs> it's all about me. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
about this song, what you know, what it's about, what inspired you to write it, that kind of thing. Um, well, that song, uh, that song was uh, really um, um, kind of inspired me for this, um, like uh, how this. I mean, social media and everything is uh, kind of. Um, you know, as a, it's like a story about that everything went to kind of craziness. Uh, everybody is just uh, um, doing social media and, and manipulating, you know, like in a way like uh, feelings and and um, in a way like that um, that gets a little addictive. And, I mean, a little more and dangerous and kind of really put me in some kind of anger to kind of do something about it because I got addicted too. I, I see myself for like two hours on the phone. So I, I felt that I have to do something about it. So I have to cut it out to, to limit the time being on the phone or something. So, uh, yeah. because most of the people, they don't even want to, they don't talk on the phone. It's just texting and stuff. So right. I kind of felt that it's a, the song is, uh, it's about that. Like, uh, living that kind of life like i post my post online i order food online uh, uh i watch netflix uh, that those are the lyrics basically it's mm. all about me and uh, it's all what i want and it's kind of uh, giving yourself a lot of luxury even though it sounds like uh, you're alone but uh, basically people have this choice but because it's easier we we choose to watch netflix you know it's easier then to to go see someone it's very difficult or to to do something different uh, so uh, the whole song is about that in a way like um, it's it's everywhere and um, mm, it's 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 like that that kind of problem that we all have that that is kind of little out of control uh, yeah I, I I try to live a life where everything's about other people. That's one of the reasons I do this show. It's not all about me. It's about you guys in the world of entertainment. It's about the musicians. It's about the actors and the authors and all the amazing people who make up the world of entertainment. You know what I mean? And we should hear your story and why you do what you do and show appreciation to you guys like hey you know thanks for putting that song out thanks for putting that album out like i it really it, it i enjoyed it i really loved listening to it i really loved watching your new movie i really loved reading your new book you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's about helping showcase the talents of people out there to to give them a to give all of you a voice you yeah. know what i mean so you can get more exposure for what you do. You know what I mean? It's not all yeah. about making money. It's not all about what can you give me? What can you do for me? I the only thing yeah. I, I get paid in free tickets. That's all, I mean, I don't I don't get paid to do what I do. I don't I do it because I love it and I genuinely treasure every moment that I have by doing this. It's not all about all that to me. It's about showing the world what other people have to offer you know what i mean that movie yeah. you just watched that's great you like the movie but did you know why that movie was written why it came from a book it, did you know that the, who wrote that who wrote that book did you know like what why they wrote the story they wrote do you know why the certain music was put with that story like you know like it's just getting a deeper meaning to everything yeah and basically this song i kind of it's like a voice to kind of wake up to to not be all about me yeah including me to kind of do something out to to kind of do something to to look outside and that's yeah. to get out of the box and and that's the song yeah. it's kind of wake up kind of thing i don't know you know like, yeah like you're saying be more present in the moment, uh -huh. more yeah. mindful and, and more, you know, more appreciate really, yeah. nature, get outside, take a walk, go spend time yeah. with your grandmother who's sick, you know, go, go, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's about 
spending time with others and, and finding other things out there, not just being stuck in your phone for two to four hours or eight hours or whatever. Like actually a lot of people have lost communication now. You know what I mean? Like they, like they yeah. forgot how to communicate with one another. They forgot. Even, and this, it, and this existed even before COVID. It just got worse with COVID. You know what I mean? But yeah. we, we took two years and isolated ourselves off from so many people. Why not put down that phone and go visit your sister across town? Why not go spend time with your grandchild or go take a walk and enjoy beauty? Something. Get out that phone. It's not always about that. Yeah, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. That's what I'm saying. It's a very hard. But people, it's a, like making a band to go to practice. You got to push and push yourself to do the small moves. You know, if you can, you know, small things, but just to a little balance, I guess that thing is because yeah. you can't cut it out right away. But I think that's the, that's the idea to just at yeah. least, at least have a will to, to kind of figure it out. Okay. I can maybe do a little more than, than just this, you know? Yeah. But we should, we just need to remind ourselves what the world was like before COVID. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to go play that song now and we're going to play. It's called All About Me by Vitamin XP. Enjoy.
have mercy. That was some good music. Oh, man, that was good. I don't know why, sure why I can't hear you. Hold on. You Can you hear me? Yeah, that, that was really good. Like, really good. Uh, can you tell everybody where they can find your music, your social media, and also, uh, let me get that off of there. And also where they can see you playing. I know you're coming, you sh- got a show coming up soon. For some reason, your mic's not coming through. I'm not sure why. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm not sure why. Hold on. Uh, maybe your volume, I'm not sure. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me, not sure why you're not coming in now. Hold on. There. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, for some reason I'm not hearing you now. I was able to hear you earlier. Hold on. Um Hold on. There we go. Oh, not sure why. Yeah. Not sure what happened. Um, I'm not sure what happened to your audio. One second. I do apologize for that. Um, well, I know you have a show coming up here. Uh, let me go look at that. I know it's uh, August 18th. Uh, one second. Let me just open that back up. I know that we have a show coming up on August 18th. Let me go find that. Here we go. Okay. They're playing at the El Cid Theater, Sunset Boulevard, uh, on August 18th. And you're playing at 6.30 p.m. Uh, so get your tickets. They're going out. Uh, they're getting sold out really quick. So please hurry up and uh, go get them. Uh, at the show, we'll also perform Radiator King and Temple Monarch. Tickets at the door are uh, fifteen to eighteen dollars. But if you want to get tickets for ten dollars, direct message uh, Alexander Adzik or v- Vitamin XP. It's literally the letter X and letter P on Instagram. So if you look him up, if you go to his, uh, you go to his Instagram page. Uh, if you go to his website, there's vitamin XP dot, uh, vitamin XP music dot com. Um, they have a band camp page, uh, so you can go get the new album Watermelon, and you can also go to their Apple page. Uh, the album is also just look up uh, wa- Watermelon. It's the name of the album by Vitamin XP. You can find it on Apple Music. You can find it on Bandcamp. And just go on Spotify. And you just type in, um, for artists, you just type in Vitamin XP. And the album on there is also Watermelon. Um, and then you can check out their music videos on YouTube. Uh, they have a bunch of uh, different music videos like Dance With Us, like you saw earlier. And I Don't Care About Rock and Roll. Uh, like I said, their first concert back after two years will be on August 18th, and they're playing at 6.30 p.m. El Cid Theater on Sunset Boulevard. So please go get your tickets. If you want a discount um, and only have to pay $10, then make sure you direct message through Instagram to uh, Vitamin XP Music. That's uh, V-I-T-A-M-I-N-X-P-M-U-S-I-C. Vitamin XP Music. You can find them on Facebook at Vitamin XP. Uh, also, Twitter, Vitamin XP, and YouTube, Vitamin XP. Um, so, please go check out all their social media, their website, support them, like them, go purchase their new album, 
um, on Bandcamp. If you loved all the stuff that you heard tonight and you really loved everything that they were that he was saying, everything Alexander was saying, and uh, and the music, especially the music, please go like him, follow him. Uh, not literally, but <laughs> but please go follow his music on social media. Like his pages, follow his music, um, subscribe to his YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Every every little bit helps every cent you send to the musicians and the artists that perform all this amazing music really does help them it helps them to put out new projects record new music put out new music videos you know and um like i said go like his page on facebook uh go check him out on twitter instagram uh youtube apple music everywhere and uh, especially go to Bandcamp and uh you know pay to listen to that new album download it like it love it follow it so i want to thank you so much i'm sorry we can't hear you i don't know what happened uh but thank you so much for being on the show tonight i really appreciate it your music new music is absolutely amazing and i think everybody needs to go watch your music videos because they're fun and the music's great so you know how could you not want to get involved with something like that positive messages uh, speaking the truth simplicity getting back to basics go check it out please go support vitamin xp and all his projects and go see him at the el cid on sunset boulevard august 18th please go check it out go buy go buy a ticket now like right now and uh, make sure you direct message him on Instagram. Till next time, tomorrow night we got Lonnie Lee, television personality to the stars. I don't know. <laughs> and we also got our buddy Derek Webb, fitness trainer, back in the house. We have missed him. He's been away too fucking long. And uh, we're really great tomorrow night. We're getting ramped up. We got a lot of great episodes this week. So please come back and check out Wicked Entertaining. With your hostess with the mostess, Jennifer DeVoe, Muse, and our amazing guest tonight, Alex, Alexander Adzik from Vitamin XP. Till next time, check us out tomorrow night. Bye. <laughs> Bye.